I feel like a big thing that a lot of us face is figuring out self-love, figuring out self-worth, and where do we invest our time, where to invest our energy. The thing is, self-love is not just a phrase. It's not just a catchy trend. It's, and it's not just saying that to yourself either. It's about the actions that you take to back up that fact, reinforce those words that you might tell yourself. Because when you show up as somebody that truly loves themselves, <laughs> the action that you take means that you see worth in yourself. It means that that is what means that you are seeing value in yourself. And it's not that you disregard others, you have love for others. The thing is, when you love yourself, then you're able to truly love others. It is not until you love yourself. In religion, they say, you know, self-love comes first, and then you can love your neighbor. And that's true. You know, there's a lot of things in religion. There's a lot of truths in religion. You might not like religion, but there's a lot of things that ring true in life. The golden rule. Treat others the way you'd like to be treated. But when you do, and when you do things for yourself, when you have self-love from yourself and you're filling your own cup from within, then you're able to show up for others in the best way that you can. Just like the airplane thing. They tell you to put your mask on first, your oxygen mask on first. You have to do that before you can provide, before you can help others and assist others to get their masks on. And self-love is about, is about holding yourself accountable. A lot of the time, true self-love it's about doing the things that your future self will thank you for. It's about doing the things that you, you might not feel like doing in the moment. It's about not being led by your emotions. You might want to eat that piece of cake. You, you might want to go out and uh, get, get blackout drunk with your friends. You might want to go party. You might want to ignore all your responsibilities. But self-love is about holding yourself accountable to that version of yourself that you know that you can be. The version of yourself like the one that studies, even though you don't feel like it. The one that does the work. Hold yourself accountable. And then also realizing the future benefits of your actions today. Realizing what steps you need to take and what sacrifices need to be made as well. A lot of us sacrifice our time, effort, and energy to things that don't, don't benefit us and things that aren't for us. And I'm not saying 100% of the times that you need to disregard it. But whenever you have the option and the capability to invest in your future self, to, to value yourself, that is valuing yourself and doing what's best for you, do, do that thing. Life is too short for us to just give in to our, our immediate, immediate uh, desires and immediate, like to not tend to, to our desires, to not tend to that garden that, that we're growing, that we're cultivating. There's that quote that's uh, planting trees for the future. The best time to plant a tree was yesterday, but the second best time is today. And true, true, uh, true love and true compassion for others involves planting trees even when you won't, you won't even, you might not even see the benefit in your own lifetime. I mean, that's a whole nother, another way of looking at things. but talking about self-love you know what's going to benefit you in the long run <laughs> you you know that giving into those those habits those immediate pleasures that it's not serving you and when you're when you when you're honest with yourself and when you start doing those things you're going to feel good you're going to feel spiritually good you're going to feel spiritually whole realize that what you need isn't always going to correlate to sur your surrounding environment. Sometimes you need to spend time alone. Everybody, everybody wants to invite you out. It's about realizing the sacrifices that you need to take in order to adequately love yourself. Prove to yourself that you and what you feel about things and how you feel about things is valuable. Your own thoughts 
not the thoughts of others. And others will be others will be affected by that. High value people view what they think above what others think, and not in a narcissistic way, but in a way that's self-respecting, realizing who they are and having that security within themselves. It's not necessarily everything. Everybody has little bits of insecurity here and there. But in terms of the way they show up, in terms of the way they express themselves, their authenticity, the courage they have to, they have to be disliked, they stand up for themselves. They don't allow uh, negativity around them. They don't allow disrespect. They, they set healthy boundaries for themselves. They have healthy self-esteem. They have, uh, you know, and, and, they, and again, realize that you can't fill the cups for others unless your cup is filled. And if people are out here draining your cup, poking holes in your cup, it's time to get rid of those people. Know your value, know your worth. <laughs> and your, the, the arguments, disputes, interactions, they don't matter. If you, unless you, you know, if you've done nothing, then you don't have to take that, you don't have to take that on. People, people want you to say, oh, you're always working, oh, you're always doing this. Yeah, but that's who you are. You're the person that works on yourself because you value yourself. And most people out here don't value themselves. They don't value their time. They don't value their energy. They let, they let it be siphoned off. They don't care what people, they don't care. It's, it's evident in their actions that they don't value their, themselves. The fact that they let anybody around them. High value people keep a small circle. They keep a tight knit circle and they don't allow gossip around them. They don't allow drama around them. They don't allow, um, you know, all kinds of all kinds of negative habits, negative, negative things that aren't serving them. They cut those things out of their life because they value themselves. They value their vision. They value the person that they want to be. And, and ultimately they want to create a harmony in their life and peace in their life and the lives of those they care about. You can't have a happy home. You can't raise happy, healthy children if you are allowing people to constantly be tugging at your energy and you know allow, allowing all of these all these different forces to be impacting you negatively all the time. You are not your past. You have the po the power to rewrite your story, and you have the power to go within and look at what it, what it is that you need. Look at what it is that you that you need to do for yourself. How you and the way that the way in which you want to move throughout this life, and the things that you want in the future, you got to start acting acting on them right now. To start take to start walking towards them now. The concept of like this t of time and think and always being being caught up thinking about time, it puts a distance between ourselves and our goal and. And that, that trap that we get in, into thinking of, oh, I'm just gonna do this right now. This is just right now. It's a trap. It's a false, it's a falsehood. Because time really doesn't really exist in the same way that we perceive it. We're, the, only, the only power that we have is in the now. And if we allow ourselves to be in this negative space, in this space where we are around toxicity, or we're around drama, we're around negative influences, that is what we're carrying into the future. That is informing our future. And that is not serving our higher self. It is not serving our future self. Make the decision now. The word decision in Greek, I believe, like means to cut off. You have to cut off those things that aren't serving you. Actively cut them off. And it's the same way with our mind, with our mindset. We actively cut off those thoughts. We actively uproot those weeds. And take weed the garden of your life. Weed the garden of your mind. Tend to the, to the garden. Create a beautiful garden. Pull the weeds out, replace them with the, with the beautiful flowers that you wanna grow, with the trees, the orange trees in the background, the fruits. Create harmony in your life and peace in your life. And that's the way that, you, that you'll increase your ability to draw what it is that you want into your reality. Being a victim of circumstance, don't embrace a victim identity. It completely removes your power. You keep pointing the blame at other people. You keep pointing the finger at other people. Oh, they did this to me. That, that's uh, their fault, it's your fault. Even if you feel like that in the moment, it's not, it's not, you got to realize at a certain point, um, it doesn't serve you, right? Embracing a victim mentality, all that it does is, is, is to lower your power, is to remove yourself away from your empowered self. Embrace responsibility, take accountability, and that's where you find personal power.
we suppress our actions, we suppress our expression out of fear of the way that other people, what other people think of us. The people, will, if we show up authentically in the world, there will be seven people that, that don't care, there will be two people that actively hate us for it, and then there will be one person that loves us for it. And part of, part of realizing this is accepting that, accepting that you're not gonna be liked by everyone. As long as you're being true to yourself, as long as you are showing up authentically to you, the the the, the other option is it's a losing it's a losing battle because you're never going to be showing up authentically. You're always going to be faking it. And even if you have uh, less people that that like the fake you, or less people that dislike the fake you, you won't be happy. And when you're being true to yourself and you're showing up true and and an authentic expression. The one thing we shouldn't do is be fake to ourselves. The one thing that we cannot do is do that. When we're true to ourselves, we'll, we will find those people that, that love us for us. We will find those people that connect to us because we are authentic. And they can tell that we're being authentic. And they will be drawn to us for that. You act fake, you're going to attract fake people. You, act, you, you fill your life with drama, you're gonna, that's what you're going to attract. You know, life, life, life is a reflection of you. Your outer reality is a mirror to your inner world. Change your mindset. Appreciation for everything. Appreciation for the now. Appreciation for the process that you're in right now. The, the place in your journey. You're on your journey like right here. And the journey is so much farther to go. And you have to learn to appreciate where you're at right now in the journey. That's what self-love is. When you show appreciation to the world, when you show appreciation to those around you in the now, in the present moment, that is an act of self-love. The more that you tear others down, the more that you uh, shift the blame onto others, the more that you victimize yourself and adopt that mindset, that is the opposite of self-love. Explore new things. Surround yourself with, with good people and all of those, all of those acts, those are acts of self-love, acts of self-care, taking care of yourself, eating right, eating well, taking in good information, healthy habits, they're all acts of self-love. Self-love is not just a statement, it is a way of life, it is a way, it is a lifestyle. It is a way of cultivating the self. Anyways, guys, much love as always. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and it's a beautiful day. I love recording these videos here by the orange tree. <laughs> these oranges are delicious by the way. And it's just a reminder that you get to plant the garden of your mind. You get to plant the garden of your life. If you want corn, a farmer, if, it want, if a farmer wants a crop of corn, he plants corn. You don't, you don't allow those weeds to grow rampant in your crop because you're, that's what you're going to get. So, with that being said, much love as always. Hit me with a like, hit me with a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.